Welcome back, everybody. It's time for another video, and I got my wife here. She's going to be the camera person. No, the camera la Princess. lady. <laughs> the camera lady today, as I fix uh, this Donkey Kong 3 board here. It's two pieces. Um, <clears throat> so I was getting a crazy um, bouncy photo uh, image jumping up and down. At first, I thought it was because I rebuilt the Donkey Kong Jr. cabinet monitor recently and um, but that wasn't the case um, so let me uh, flip the camera around here so <clears throat> there are two vertical and horizontal position uh, pots that are soldered on here and um, when I went to measure I wasn't getting any power any um, resistance on them so then I went to remove it desolder it and it looked like it was fine on the board but oh no wait, it was two pieces both of them so they both broke had been broken so um i ordered some replacements from mike's arcade and they came today surprisingly as well as a few other parts here <clears throat> jenny would you please get two of those pots out of the uh bag for me yeah. so we're going to solder those in and we're going to put the board back together and then we're gonna pull Donkey Kong out and uh, pop it in there and see if it's fixed. <laughs> Hopefully it is and we're done. Is this a pot? No, that is a starter bulb. Starter. No, it's these things right here. There should be, just get two of those out. Oh. Potentiometer. Those starters are actually for the, my, um, Mr. Do, the one <clears throat> fluorescent, the, the back glass. So we got a bunch of them here. Here's the tip to pro tip. Um, whenever you're ordering things and you, if you need to buy double, if it's cheap, because if you get one that's broken or if you break it, you're going to want to uh, have a spare and not have to wait days for another one. Oh, here's something else I'm working on right there. Just put these headers on this. You'll see it later. Okay, Jenny, would you please be the camera operator now? Okay. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. This should be very quick if all goes as planned. I think one of the things we should do first though, before we solder these and just make sure that they're showing some kind of resistance and they're not broken. This thing's a new battery. Okay, so right now it's in millions of ohms reading. So this is a 50 to 30k pot, so we should get a reading. I'm trying to be real lazy here. So we got 1.2. Two ohms. So let's turn it. Twenty eight thousand ohms. Forty four thousand ohms. So that's about it'll go up, I can turn it up more and get to the fifty. Let's go to see. There you go, 50 ohms. 50,000 ohms, excuse me. So that's the right reading on. Oh, I should probably measure the other one too. Let's just turn all the way up, maximum resistance. Fifty-one. Okay, so these are both good. Oh, we got some good old, good pots there. All right. Slip them in. They're nice and tight. That's what she said. <laughs> it's good. We don't have to worry about them falling out. I've already cleaned these pads up previously. Yep. 
So these are clean, so I don't need to worry about it. Okay. Nice solder there. We don't want to use too much because whoever had replaced these previously used a lot of solder and they were really hard to get out. There you go. Just enough. Use a little bit more on that one though. The thing is, it's a big via here, so if you put a lot, it's just going to run right out the bottom. Last one. There we go. A little more on this one. Is that your phone making that sound? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's just flip around. Okay. Does look funny. So we're gonna set these to the middle. They're both middle readings, and then we're gonna reassemble the board. Reconnect the rainbow power cable. Okay, and then reconnect these IDC connectors. Well, not IDC, what are these called? Yeah, they are IDC connectors, but these ribbon cables. Okay. The board is back together again. Okay. Solders look good. All right. Make our way over to the Donkey Kong. <clears throat> hmm. set this. Don't let anybody see where I set that, Jenny. Screwdriver. down here somewhere that I was using to hold it. Uh, I don't want to really 
riding on those. Oh, it's too hard there. This is just a temporary test thing. Computer, turn on Nintendo Row. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Aren't you useless? Uh, computer, turn on Nintendo Row. There you go. Trip. Hey, want to bring the camera over here? Take a look, it is fixed. I have no sound though. There we go. So I got the super, I have to adjust the height because it's going off the screen, but. Now we want to get the super shooter in. Good old Stanley. It's been a while since I played this. Nice to be able to play it. adjusted. So I'm just going to adjust the spot. I can use the reflection to see what I'm doing here. Jennifer, would you go go back to the front? Well, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Yes. Okay. So that is fixed. So one of the things you want to do is make sure you're very careful with your um, Donkey Kong Juniors. <laughs> Thank you. Your Donkey Kong Junior, Donkey Kong, and Donkey Kong 3 boards. Because they have those pots that just hang out. Let's see here. Um, oh, we got some things. Jupiter. Nice seeing your handiwork live. Found your channel from that prop cycle of it. All right, thanks, Jupiter. I appreciate that. Oh, hey, hey, Adam. Um, the the problem was actually just the uh, the vertical and horizontal position adjustment pots on the board. They had been cracked in half. So while they looked like they were fine on the board, they were actually busted. Right, Jenny? Right. And pop some new ones in, and we're good to go. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna play the crap out of this. Have some fun playing it because it's been a while. 
Is that going to upset people? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Hugo does not like Donkey Kong, does he? No. Yeah. Actually, you know, Adam, that that was just, um, I think it was because John had mentioned it. Someone else did as well. <clears throat> and I went to measure the, the resistance on the pots, and uh, they were um, reading zero uh, or inf infinite infinite resistance is what you said right and uh so then uh, i just went to desolder them and they fell apart so that was good to figure out what i want to decide is do i want to have it in donkey kong or junior um i do have another donkey kong cabinet so i think it's probably i'll just leave it in donkey kong for a while besides i have to move that a uh, harness adapter to uh use it you know what i'm saying there's an adapter so that basically the inside i'm going to show this because it's good for other people to know this so some and all of my cabinets are like this have the individual connectors that connect to the board so you'll see these um it doesn't use this edge connector on this cabinet there are um like there's a connector there there's some connectors back here um, you can see like if you're looking there there's like that's a video connector there's a power connector back there and they're all connected to this adapter board which plugs into the um uh PCB there on the edge connector as well here. So I can, now I can swap these games by just taking this and unplugging it and putting it back over here. So, um, but Donkey Kong 3 does not have any of these connectors on it. So you have to have either a harness that has the edge connector or you need one of these adapter boards. I only have one of them. And right now it's in Donkey Kong because I thought maybe Donkey Kong Jr. was bad. So that's it. Um, I think we're gonna stop here because I got a busy day ahead of me and um that's it so uh, thanks for watching everybody and uh that went really well right jenny yes say goodbye